Now, staying with domestic politics, some political parties here in Korea are gearing up to make good on their reform pledges. This after last week's local elections ended in a virtual draw. Over the coming weeks, the ruling party will select a new party leader and prepare for by-elections, which come at the end of July. These polls have taken on greater significance, given last week's stalemate. Ji Myung Gil reports. With the campaigning over and the races decided, the ruling Saenuri party and main opposition party now face a slew of challenges ahead. The ruling party plans to establish a new committee to reform the government's overall management system in the wake of April's ferry disaster. We expect a new prime minister and new cabinet members to coincide with President Park Geun-hye's upcoming reshuffle. Our party is considering plans to restructure itself. The Saenuri party will also hold a party convention on July 14th to nominate a new leader. Meanwhile, the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy also said it would do its best to regain the public's trust. After the June 4th local elections, what people want is social integrity, a system of checks and balances, and a safer Korea. We will work towards answering the public's demands. Both parties will also be trying to rally the troops ahead of July 30th by elections. They are considered important as the number of National Assembly seats up for grabs could be as high as 18. Ten former lawmakers gave up their assembly badges to run in local elections, while two lawmakers lost seats for violating election laws. More seats could be available as lawmakers are awaiting rulings on other charges. Political analysts say the outcome of the by-elections could serve as another barometer of public sentiment on the hills of the local elections. The ruling party currently holds 149 seats in parliament and needs just one more seat to resume its majority status at the 300-member National Assembly. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.